Hi everyone, Pot Sam. Welcome to Saturday Suck. Uh, Saturday's update and completed kit. Um, so, still full of man flu, uh, and I'm not quite finished the Honda NSX yet. It's put me behind a few days. Um, plus, I finished off the Subaru for the build. It's there. There it is, right there. I'm not going to show it yet until we're uh, fully done. Um, we've got part 9 going up tomorrow, and part 10 the week after, and part 10's the final part. So, that'll be the final reveal next week, and uh, a little bit of an announcement. In there as well, so make sure you tune in for that. Uh, literally dealing with all the finishing touches, um, putting it all together basically. But I spoke up into two parts because it was a bit longer than I anticipated. So, looking forward to get that all done. Uh, it's a relief to get it finished, and I'm glad it's proved so popular. So, thanks to everyone who's commented, watched it, and uh, anyone that's helped. It's uh, it means a lot, it really does. Um, so yeah, nice to do. Um, it's a nice kit. Uh, there's plenty of them, the Subarus. Uh, I picked another one up today, actually. Well, the other day. Uh, really hard to find one. Uh, the Arie version, uh, which is quite unique. Um, you can get those decals aftermarket. Sam built them a while ago. Um, and it comes with a set of speed lines, a standard. So cheaper buying that than buying all the aftermarket. So I've been after that for quite some time, and I managed to find it. Not a cheap kit. I think that cost me about 44 quid posted. Uh, but, but by the time I had the base kit, aftermarket wheels and aftermarket decals, it still works out cheaper. So happy to get it. Um, and there's loads of other Subarus out there. So if you want to pick a Subaru, you can pick a 99 like I did. There's a 98 Safari, a 98 Monte Carlo. They're all different in one way or another. Uh, there's a 2001, uh, 2002, 2005 and a 2004 Japan. I've got them all or I've built them and they are really, really good kits. Um, I've got loads of the 99s and the 98s in the stash because I've got tons of aftermarket schemes for them. And uh, yeah, you can keep building the same kits over and over again and it not get boring. And a lot of people ask me why have I got duplicate kits. Um, well, that's why because there's so many aftermarket schemes out there, you can just keep going and going and going. And it really does get interesting. Uh, I've got a whole line there, they're all Subarus. All Subarus on that top row there, and every single one is different. Uh, there's a couple of the same kits there, and they just look superb. There's some really nice liveries. Now, what I'm going to do in a bit, uh, when we go and have a look at the NSX, it's not finished, but I polished it all up last night, and it looks absolutely superb. So we'll get there under the camera in a minute. Uh, a lot of people have asked about the duplicate kits. They've asked about the aftermarket decals, and a few people have asked me, can I have a look at what I've got? I'm not going to take pictures of them, because I've got like 90 sets. We'll be there all day taking pictures. But what, what I'll do in a minute is we'll get the folder out and I'll just skim through the folder quick and we'll have a look through and I'll pick out some of the more uh, colourful and interesting schemes to have a look at. But oh my god, there's so many schemes out there. Like I said, I've got about 90 aftermarket sets and that folder's worth about, oh my god, I don't want to think, over a thousand pound easy. Um, but it means you just keep going and going and going. So a 17 pound Subaru, you could build it 20 times and it'll look totally different every time. There's aftermarket wheels, aftermarket parts for them. So you can pretty much make any rally car you can find if you can get the decal scheme, which is great. And it keeps it interesting. Um, you'll find some of the kits you find interesting and keep going back to them, which is really good. So there we go. Bit of a waffle, but a lot of people keep asking about the duplicate kits. And uh, that's it, really. It's just a case of so many schemes to do. It keeps it interesting. It really does. Um, right, muscle car build. You've got five days, four days from tomorrow uh, to get it finished. Uh, it ends Wednesday uh, at midnight, UK time. Um, so you've got five days to get it done. And there's a few people close to the finish line, and hopefully you'll get it done. Um, loads of good entries, so it's been really good. It's been a popular build, really has. Uh, although we're not quite doing true muscle cars, that's what it is. Uh, and the truck builds on until New Year. Quite a lot of people taking part in that as well, and I really need to get back to mine, which I plan to do after Telford. Right, um, so once the NSX is done, I'm a little bit behind on this. It should have been done by now, but we're finishing the Subaru. That took us a couple of days out. Last week, there was a couple of days filming, doing a bench update last Saturday and getting the video ready. So I'm about four days out, really, from where I should have been. This should have been finished by now, uh, but it'll be finished by Tuesday's bench update. And uh, we can crack on then with the Red Eva Mercedes. Looking forward to that. Um, and they will both be at Telford as well. I've sorted my list out of cars that are going to Telford. I've got about 13 cars going. Uh, there's a bike going and the Hasegawa 32 Raiden's going as well. And probably the Aliens APC from Retrocut will go as well. We sell the kit 
and it's an interesting little model. A few of the other guys going are bringing some stuff as well. So hopefully we'll have some interesting bits and bobs on the stand to have a look at. And there we are. Uh, live show went really well last night. Nice busy show. Uh, rolled along really nice. It was build nice. Nice and relaxed. Nice busy chat. Uh, about 150 viewers for the most part of the night, which is good. Uh, it's always good to see. So we'll be back next Friday uh, for our full show. And uh, Like I said, the Super Builds up tomorrow at midday. That's all filmed. Ready, it's all on YouTube, ready to go. Uh, I've got a review next week of Mr. Colour Paint. Hopefully I remember to put this picture in. Uh, Frey from ModelEmporium.shot sent me some uh, Mr. Colours to review. Uh, I've used them before, but I've never really put them through their paces. Just used them here and there on a few things. So I'm going to test a few of them out, a few of the colours, the clear coats, and I've got the buffable metals uh, to put through their paces properly as well. So keep an eye out for that. And there'll be some kit releases in the future. Uh, reviews in the future too. So there we go. Right, let's go over to have a look at this NSX. And then I'm going to have a look through my decal folder. Now, if you don't want to watch the decal folder of it, no problem at all. Skip through it. It's going to be five, ten minutes long. Probably longer than me. Uh, but I'm just going to scan through the uh, folder as quick as I can. I look at all the different aftermarket schemes I've got for these kits. So like I say, if you don't want to watch it, no problem. Skip through. And uh, there we go. Right, let's go and have a look at this. Right then, so this is where I'm at with the Castrol uh, Honda NSX. Um, as you saw, if you're watching the live show, I spent all last night polishing this thing up. And uh, yeah, it's got a rather nice shine right now. As you can see, the Pro Range 2K has come up very, very nice. Uh, I had a little bit of orange peel in places. That is long gone. Um, so what did I do to it? Uh, as per the Subaru polishing video, um, I hit up the worst part, which are on the, the boot lid here, the trunk at the back as such. Um, I hit that up with 6,000 micromesh. Uh, got that nicely flatted. Uh, then hit up everywhere with 8,000 micromesh. Uh, and then 12,000 um, to get it really nicely polished. I then hit it with the Novus. Uh, number three heavy scratch remover, then the number two light scratch remover, and then the Tamiya finishing compound as well. This thing's not even been waxed yet. Once it is waxed, it's going to shine like a brand new penny. It's going to look absolutely lovely. So well and truly happy with that. It's a beautiful looking machine. Um, I've done all the engine detail. That spoiler's just placed on, so it may well uh, fall off. One fault, really a bit of a pain, but it does tend to happen. The colour red is bleached through on the Castrol decal. It's a white decal, it's a strong red, and you always stand a good chance of it happening. So rather than being a nice vibrant white, it's gone a bit of an off pink colour. It's just one of those things, it happens, it's an old kit, um, so there's not much I can do about it at all. It is a pig of a kit. Um, I know Sam has sadly put his back in the box, it's a nightmare with the decals. Uh, to be honest, I was close to throwing this thing away. Um, the decals are shockingly bad, but thankfully, and I think, as I said to Sam, through sheer luck, um, I managed to get them all down, and thankfully, um, they did settle down fine. Once the 2K has gone on, three coats, as I said last night, because it's a thicker decal, um, it does need a little bit more 2K to fully cover them, but I'm happy with it. It's not perfect. I've got a couple of flaws in the finish, <clears throat> but it is what it is, and I'm happy with it. Um, as it is, it's a beautiful looking thing. It really is a fantastic scheme, and I love that Pro Range 2K. I really do. Uh, like I say, if you want to try a sample of it, hit me up uh, for minimal cost. I'll send you enough to do a few cars, and you can try it out and see what you think. But lovely, really, that's going well. So that's the body shell and the spoiler. Um, engine and running gear are all in, so the steering's all in, um, radiator. Uh, the engine detail at the back. There's not a lot to see inside, really. Uh, a little bit underneath, there's an engine cover. Uh, sorry, there's a cover to go underneath here as well, uh, which has a little bit of the bodywork at the back that's over in the photo booth. But the engine's there. Quite a nice bit of detail. It's not fantastic. Uh, but you'll only see this through the engine cover anyway. So it's coming along well. That Not bad at all. Um, as for what's left to do, um, we've got the interior to do. Still, this is literally where I'm at here. So I've got the interior to build up. Um, fairly simple roll cage to do. Very simple interior as well. So I'm going to plan doing on that today. So it shouldn't take too long to do. Just a few bits and bobs to get in. And then we've got finishing touches. So we've got the lights to go in. Uh, wing mirrors to get on. 
I've I painted my wing mirrors? I don't even know where they are. I don't even painted them. I think I have. <laughs> I hope I have. They were 2K. They must have been in the drawer. Um, what else have we got? We've got a couple of uh, things to glue on. Uh, the intake to go in at the back as well. And the glass work to get done. And we'll be done. So I'm hoping this will be done today or tomorrow. And then I can crack on with the Eva uh, red Mercedes. Which I'm really looking forward to doing. Right now decals. Bear with me. Because I have a huge folder under here. I really am not exaggerating. There you go. That's my folder full of decals in my lovely file that Hannah bought me. When you ask your girlfriend to buy you a folder and you end up with one with a picture of yourself on the front. It's always interesting. Let me just make sure I'm not zoomed in at all, which I'm not. So, in here I've got every set of decal um, I own. and it, They are categorised from car or make. Uh, and they go through. I'll try not to bore it too long. <laughs> And I'll try to move it through quick. If you have to bear with me, because I'm full of man flu. So I'll try not to sniff the living hell out of you. So we've got a FINA RS500. Nice scheme. Um, a WRC Escort. Again, absolutely beautiful. Comes with a resin conversion, that one as well, to change the front spoiler. And uh, that's better. And a uh, rear spoiler. Really nice. We've got the Caliber RS500 of Andy Rouse. From SK Decals. We've got a bit of shine there. Can I get rid of that by angling it? Uh, yeah, I can a bit, can't I? Let me just find something to pop behind there. There we go. The Subaru kit will do. Let's see if we can get rid of some of that shine. Um, yeah, SK Decals, RS500, Calibre. Absolutely beautiful scheme. And they are lovely decals as well. Uh, we've got the Bastos Sierra as well. And that is a very, very nice scheme too. Uh, but with me, I am losing decals because my folder is knackered. There we go. Uh, we've got Marlborough uh, Rally Sierra. Again, comes with a full uh, conversion set for that one. Which, um, yeah, not a cheap set, that one at all. Uh, mobile One Focus. And then we're on to my Escort. So we've got a Mobile One Escort Cosworth. Uh, we've got the... Is it Guy? Fina Guys? Geese? Uh, group. We've got another one as well. Um... Martini Escort, another WRC conversion. So as you see, these have a different front bumper and rear spoiler and different rims as well. They look like Speedline six spokes. Very nice scheme. So a bit of surgery needed there to remove the boot spoiler um, and the front spoiler there to bumper to do as well. So yeah, a little bit daunting, but nevertheless kind of cool. Uh, Basto scheme I got from Gary Constable. Cheers, buddy. Very, very nice scheme. And the Jolly uh, WRC Escort kit as well. As you see, loads of Escort ones, and I've got loads of these in the stash as we go through. Uh, Mar 2 Escort, uh, we'll get to in there. Rothmans from Renaissance. Uh, Italia has just really released that kit uh, for Mesky with those decals. Well, I bought the decals a long time ago, and as you can see, it's a lovely decal scheme. Uh, we've got the Belga Team Mark II Escort as well. I'm just waiting for a decent Mark II Escort to be actually released because the old Italiary Esky kit isn't the greatest. Now, we're on to Evolutions, Mitsubishi's. Um, a very nice scheme there from uh, Domino Model. Uh, I've no idea what company it is. Cobalt Tab, is it? This is for the Evo 7. Uh, you get a set of resin wing mirrors in there as well. We've got another one from Domino for the same uh, team slash company. And these look like lovely decals. Massive decal sheet. Really nice. Uh, we've got an Evo 7, Mika, Lapland, 03. Uh, quite an unusual one. All massive metal decals. Metallic decals for the uh, for the roof and the side and everything. Uh, we've got the Cordoba for the Evo 6. Very, very nice scheme as well. Really high quality decals, these lovely sheets. Uh, we've got the Scott. Uh, racing team for the Evo 6 again. Really nice scheme. Loctite. Evo 6. Ancap for the Evo 5. Um, we've got the Winfield for the Evo 5. I've got the Subaru scheme for that one, uh, which I want to redo. And obviously with the Evo 5, they got nice next to each other. But then on to Peugeot 206s. There are tons of decals for these cars. Um, there really are. We've got the Gulars. Uh, cigarettes from Renaissance. Again, nice scheme. Uh, we've got the 206 scheme. Um, obviously, Mobile One. That's a lovely scheme, that one. Really nice. I know some of these are orientated wrong, but that's what they are. You'll have to bear with me. We've got the uh, OMV scheme. That's a real nice, colourful one as well. Hopefully you can see these. It's not white and out. Uh, they've got the Haveline, which is a really nice one. 
really pretty scheme. Very nice. Uh, the um, Valentino Rossi, uh, Michelin Pilot, yellow and blue. This thing's cool. You got to paint it half yellow, half blue. So it's a pretty cool, cool scheme. Bastos, you're going to see a few Bastos schemes in here. I've uh, got another Gouard scheme in there. I think I've got about two or three of these. This lovely uh, Federal 25 year scheme. That's actually a gold car. Really nice with some very, very nice uh, decals. And I think there's a set of aftermarket rims with that one too. On to the 307, another fantastic kit by Tamiya. Uh, I've built two of those so far, and I've got another two in the stash. They are a lovely kit. They get a bit hard to find, but that's a nice decal set from Reggie model. Uh, we've got a 206 Clarion scheme, um, which, yeah, again, standard scheme, but aftermarket decals for it. We've got the Pirelli yellow scheme for the 307, which is another lovely one. And then we're on to the Peugeot 405, uh, Paris Dakar car. I've got one of those kits. Uh, as you can see, that's a lovely decal scheme from, I think it's Renaissance, is it? Yeah, not a cheap one. That was about a 30 quid decal set, that one. Getting hard to get. And then there is a aftermarket scheme for the Camel. 405 as well cheaper uh, decals they're about 10 pound off ebay um, but there if i need them should i do it uh in this one now we're on to the subaru so as you can see you'll see why i've got so many subarus so we've got the spiel uh tv spiel film uh scheme which came with a set of speed lines as well all the aftermarket wheels or bumpers that are stored separately so this is a very nice scheme it's a hell of a decal sheet as you can see uh we've then got the uh san remo uh, rally one from Valencia, which is a beautiful, beautiful, colourful scheme. As you can see, again, lovely decals, really, really nice. Um, this again by Gary Constable. He's always telling me to build the elephant scheme. Um, this one, MHD. Uh, I've not even heard of these decals, but it's for the Hassi kit by the look of it. And uh, it does look a cool scheme. It's got nice elephants on the side. So Gary, I will get to it at some point, buddy. We've got the Infineon scheme for the uh, Subaru. Another lovely scheme with some nice metal decals. Um, we've got the Network Q 2002. Now this one's got a different front end on it. As you can see, it's got different scoops and intakes. And there is an aftermarket front end which I need to pick up. So it needs a bit of surgery on the car. We've got a different Valencia scheme, Castro Valencia. Uh, again, lovely colourful scheme. It's absolutely beautiful. Another Havoline one for the Subaru. Uh, the Petro one from the Rally of Poland in 1999. Uh, got the... Oh, I can never even read that. Uh, Bellacom, is it? I can't even read upside down. Um, cheap decal set again, but the only decal set I can find are that car. Um, they don't look great, and the colour, I believe, uh, is a bit difficult to match on that one. <laughs> We've got the crack scheme. This is a beautiful looking one. And again, those decals are superb quality. Um, and a lovely looking car as well, as you can see. They look very, very nice. And this thing, again, cheap decals. I picked these up like four quid a set off eBay. They don't look too bad of quality. But that thing's like a luminous yellow. And it does look very, very cool. So that caught my eye. And last but not least, uh, we've got just a standard white one. See, I like to do them in the different colours than they come. Subarus are normally always blue. So it's nice to see them in different colours. And as you see, plenty of them in there. Uh, one of my all-time favourite kits is the BMW from BMAX. Absolutely love that kit. It is absolutely, um, yeah, it's up there, my top three kits. It really is fantastic. And I've got loads of schemes for this as well. So we've got a decal cast jump player special scheme. Lovely. Uh, mobile one. These are a mix of touring car, DTMs and rally cars. Mobile One scheme, absolutely beautiful. Labat, iconic scheme. That will go with my Sierra at some point. Uh, we've got the uh, Hilton uh, Macau set. Absolutely lovely set as well. Dean Carcass Jägermeister one. Again, a lovely scheme. Really, really nice. Um, this uh, Tic Tac, I did the Tic Tac decal version. This is the Tic Tac, uh, it's a green car which you have to mask off, and inside there is huge mask sets for all these Tic Tacs, which you then spray in white. It's a daunting, um, daunting scheme, but I will do it. We've got the iconic Listerine British Touring Car. Absolutely beautiful. Will Hoy's iconic car there. Absolutely lovely. Uh, Castrol, stunning scheme as well. Hartage, I can never say that word. Is it Hartage? Uh, rims, the wheels from DMW. Absolutely lovely scheme as well. The Camel Rally Car, again, iconic scheme. 
and we're on to different ones now. So we've got the John Player Special 6 Series. Uh, that's a beautiful car, one of my favourite cars as well. Uh, not actually built the kit yet, but who doesn't like the 6 Series BMW? And then we're on to SK decals for the GT3 M6. Full carbon wrap, that one's going to be interesting. Frankie sent me that one for testing, so I'm hoping to get to that one pretty soon. Again from SK decals, we've got the Bathurst 12 Hours in the M colours. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, Liquid Molly, uh, brand new out from Racing 43 with that iconic Gas Monkey Energy uh, logo on the roof. I do like that one, very nice. So lots of deep BMW schemes as you can see, and now we're on to complete random. So SK Volvo 50 Saloon, Ricard Rydell's car. Uh, we've got the Energizer scheme for the Toyota Corona from BMAX new kit. and I think it's a better scheme than the box one, uh, but we'll see. Uh, we've got the Castrol Accord. From Tamiya. Uh, I built this kit once, the decals went foobar um, due to some dodgy paint. Not a problem on my part, I don't think. So I've bought the kit again and bought the SK decals to go with it and top quality decals. Again, the Honda Jacks from SK. Bought this hoping they were the full decals, but eh, they're not. You've got to paint all those different colours where they go and then separate them with those decals. So um, I think we'll stick with the Tell me your decals for that one. <coughs> uh, we've got the Supra Mobile One, uh, Marlboro, which is a lovely scheme as well. Marlboro uh, Corolla. Now, one thing you might notice through this, I'm a big fan of alcohol and cigarette schemes. They're iconic. It's an absolute crime shame they were banned. I understand why and appreciate why. Uh, but for me, they were what made motorsport what it was in the 80s. Uh, I think it started to phase out in the 90s, but 80s motorsport was this, was the Rothmans, Marlborough, Martini, so on and so forth, iconic schemes. Uh, Rothmans is one of my favourite schemes of all time, uh, as is Marlborough. And this Renault 5 from Tamiya is a lovely scheme as well. Uh, we've got the scheme for my uh, Ayrton Senna Lotus, uh, which is a very nice scheme as well. A couple of sets of decals for the Tamiya Audi Quattro, the long wheelbase standard one because um, I've got two of the kits another set of decals for the 405 because I bought these before I found the other one Shunko's a bit of a pain if you need to get these things to conform around corners you have to whip out the hairdryer and really mess around so be careful of these decals uh, we've got the cliff decals for the Vauxhall Calibra Pro marked for the uh, C-Class um, DTM Mercedes uh, A50 Saloon from Shunko so again I've got two lots for that you can't get these decals anymore Hence why I'm saying if you see them and you want them, grab them while you can. We've got a very, very nice uh, Studio 27 Castro scheme for the Alpha 155. That's a lovely looking scheme, that one. Uh, the iconic Calibra uh, in the Vauxhall colours. Lovely. Very, very nice. And again, just got to be careful. The way I look at it, as long as you've got, not got any colours to wrap around corners, you should be fine with the Shunkos. They go down fine on slight bends or flat surfaces. If you've got to really conform it, you could have some trouble in your hand. Uh, we've got the Zent Esso uh, for the Tamiya kit. Again, pretty straightforward, so it shouldn't really cause any trouble. Uh, the Denso Supra, which is a lovely scheme. Very, very nice. Calsonic uh, Primera. Um, really nice scheme. Sadly, my kit's missing the wheels, and I can't find any bit gutted. So I'm going to have to buy the bullet and buy the kit again, but we'll see. Uh, Decal Cast AMG GT3, another one of my favourite kits um, that's really absolutely beautiful. Uh, this is the Black Falcon scheme, nice scheme. I've got the Eva scheme, which I'm going to redo in the red colour. And I've got the Linkin Park scheme, which that madman Sam just bought me. And again, lovely scheme. Uh, Studio 27 uh, Valvoline scheme for the Super Delta, lovely. Uh, Kanika Minolta for the old Toyota Supra. Thank you for Matt who sent me those because he's crazy. And then into the back we're into my kind of duplicate or kit decals that haven't been completely butchered. I've got an entire bag full of spare decals for kits. And if there's still majority on the sheet, I keep them in here. So there's Evo 6, I think they are. Then we've got uh, Super Delta. Then we've got loads of sets of the uh, Sopa decals for the B-Max Beamer. I've built that thing like four times now, and I've got about another five in the stash, so I've got loads of those. Martini ones for the Alpha 155, uh, the Stand-Up 155. Cheap, nasty decals from a guy in Hong Kong called Johnny something. Don't buy them, they are shockingly bad. But if you can get one spare decal off it, and it works, then it's worth keeping. 
Uh, D2 for the Merc uh, 2000. Very kindly sent to me by Gary Constable of Spares. Always good to have spare decals. And then we got some random decals for the uh, Martini uh, Lancer Super Delta. I've got the kit twice. I, look, luckily, I have. Because I need to nick some decals out of it screwed up. And like I say, I've got that Valvoline set for the other ones. Uh, spare decals off that Eva. And um, that is it. There we go. A bit longer than I thought, so I hope it didn't bore the living bejesus out of you. Uh, like I say, you can skip through it if you want. I'm not really bothered. Um, but a lot in there. And as you can see, that is why I have so many duplicate kits. Because I have tons and tons and tons of aftermarket schemes to do. So there we go. It's probably bored the crap out of you. Wake up and we'll go back to me. Right, so there you go. So NSX is coming along well. Really happy with that 2K job on that. A little bit of orange peel, like I say, but a couple of that, well, about three and a half hours last night uh, of sanding and polishing. Really, really polish it up. Lovely. Um, if you want to try another 2K uh, from Pro Range, just drop me a message. I'll charge a minimal cost and post it out to you to try. Uh, send you enough to do about three or four cars. Saves you the expense of buying a massive can that's just going to go off. Um, and you can test out for yourself if you want. Just drop me a message um, on Facebook or the forum or YouTube. And there we are. Uh, as you see, the decal folder is just ridiculous. It really is. But I enjoy my hobby. I enjoy building these cars. I enjoy collecting the decals and all the different schemes. And I will build them. I will. Uh, me and Sam were saying, even if I build every one, it's only a couple of years' work um, because I can build one of these a week on average. Um, so, yeah, a lot of money in there. But hey, the thing with car decals is um, they only release them for a certain amount of time and then they stop. So you've got to grab them while you can, or quite often you'll stand a chance of not being able to get them. So there we are. So there we go. Thanks for looking at my suck. Uh, I'll be back on Tuesday for a turd. And uh, obviously check out tomorrow's Subaru build as well. Midday UK time, it'll be up and it'll be ready to rock and roll. And there we are. So thanks for watching. As always, leave any comments in the uh, the chat. I reply to everybody. Uh, if you've got any criticisms, comments, whatever you want to put in there, please pop them in. I don't mind. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to us. Um, and hit the little bell as well so you get notifications of our latest videos. Important little step there. Uh, obviously, check out Intestine Scale Model Facebook page and forum. Uh, all the links for these are in the description down below. Um, we've got umpretail.com, my sign itself and lease business. We're also Telford in a few weeks, uh, the 9th, 10th, and 11th of uh, November, I think it is. Uh, coming over to say hello to us in Hall 1. And uh, we've got all our stock there, so you can buy everything on our website there. So make sure you come and do that. It's an exciting weekend, a uh, busy show. And a good place to meet up with old friends. It really is good. So if you're there, come on over, say hello. Obviously, give me a name. Don't just give me a YouTube name or it's it's Jeff. Because I'll have no idea who you are. Uh, but come on over and say hello. That's uh, one of the best things to do. Check out the Modeling Hangout group. Um, this is our off-air hangout. So you can come and join us. And check out the Live of the Bench page for all the information on uh, the show. Uh, check out my Paul-ISM Facebook page, and uh, all my modeling work goes on there. And I'm now on Instagram. My God, I've moved forward, and I'm on Instagram. Uh, it's Paul underscore ISM. You can find me, or search the hashtag International Scale Modeler, and you'll find me as well. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Sorry for waffled on too long and bored the bejesus out of you showing my old decals, but I didn't have a lot of content today, but I still want to do the suck. Um, I still can't say that without laughing. Uh, at least it's not Friday. Or uh, Wednesday or Graham Sunday, which are unmentionable. Um, but yeah, I wanted to put a bit of content out, and I thought it was interesting for me. And a few people did ask, so there we go. So thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.